Hello everyone, it's Maddie of The Girly Geek and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here, nice to have you. Today I am back on YouTube after a little while and I'm going to be sharing a bit of a stationery haul. You can probably see this chaos in front of me but I've gone a little bit crazy with the stationery lately. I feel like I've really kind of found inspiration when it comes to my journal and I wanted to try out some new things and some new styles so I have got some supplies that will help me do that. I have spent way too much. <laughs> I will be the first to admit that but you know these are mostly investments in my creativity for the next year. So yeah, I'm excited to go ahead and show you all of the goodies that I got. I have purchased from some brands that I haven't bought from before, but that I've admired from afar. And I'm really, really excited to get to playing with everything. Hi, it's present day 2023 Maddie here. I just wanted to let you know that I filmed the majority of this video a couple months ago. So the later months of 2022, I filmed most of my haul because I was, you know, getting some new stuff for my reading journal, not just for 2022, but also gearing up for 2023. You know, when you start to feel really inspired to, you know, get your shit together and be that girl for the new year. That was me in the lead up. Um, I just didn't get a chance to post that video. So I thought I would combine my hauls because I really did get a lot of gorgeous stuff from a variety of places and some lovely small businesses. So I wanted to make sure I did share those. Just be aware <laughs> that the video will change halfway through, the lighting will change, my nails will change. Um, so yeah, this is some of the stuff for 2023 and I will try and timestamp everything into little sections so you can see what you're wanting to see if you don't want to sit through the whole video. But yeah, be sure to like this video if you like it and subscribe if you want to see more from me in the new year. Don't forget to comment if you see anything that you've got for yourself for the new year in this video or tell me what your planner situation is because I'd love to know. I'm a big planner nerd, always want to hear what people are using. And yeah, let's get into the haul. First up is some of the stuff I was most excited about. My little collection from the Archer and Olive fall release and some of the favorites that they re-released as well. They are just simply so gorgeous. I mean, even the boxes. So I'm really excited to get into them. First up was this A5 journal cover. It's like a protector, like a clear protector. And I, at first I was like, do I really need this? But then I remembered my current reading journal is this Moonflower one and it's white and it's not looking so white anymore. It's looking a little crusty and aged, which I mean, I do like that it has a bit of life and wear to it, but I just wanted a little protector to help preserve it because I was so excited that they had a new collection, especially this fall release one because they were super cute colors. They were very, you know, quintessential fall colors, which I loved, but I was also kind of worried because my vibe is much more soft pastel colors, and those are obviously very deep, rich autumnal tones. I was drawn, however, to this one, which is probably not a surprise to anyone. So this one is the vintage phone one. I haven't had a look yet, I'm so excited, but you can already see the illustrations here. They're so beautiful. Oh my god. The colour is actually lighter and much prettier than I thought. I thought it would be dark, like the colour of the box, slightly darker, but I'm so happy it's much paler. This is gorgeous. But yeah, this is so pretty. I'm so excited to use this. And there was another one that I got that I'll be honest, it was kind of an impulse purchase um, because, you know, I got one and I was like, if I'm paying for shipping to Australia, I better make it worth it. So I got another and at first I wasn't sure if I would get this one, but some of you planner people on Instagram really convinced me. It is 
the Simply Gilded and Archer and Olive collab. The pink notebook with the pink pages. To be honest, the pink pages are really intimidating to me. Like, I actually don't know how I'm going to decorate with pink pages. That kind of just throws everything off because I love pink decor and pink stickers, but now I'm like, it's gonna be way too pink. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty intimidated by it, but it was so on brand, it's just so me. And the fact that other people were messaging me and saying, oh my God, that's totally you. I mean, I had to, didn't I? Do it for the brand. So I did. And here she goes. I think this one's much more pink, like a raspberry color. Oh. Actually, it's also lighter than I thought, but definitely more of a, a Barbie pink. I don't mind, I don't mind at all. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Look at that. Okay, this is just too cute. This is just so me. This is me. Pink with a bow. Mm, I love it. And the gilded pages. Are you kidding? I mean, it makes sense because it's simply gilded, but dang, I'm obsessed. I also like that it has the pink pen holder. Oh, it's so cute. With that, in the set came the decorative washi tapes, which were pretty banged up. I mean, they went through some stuff on their voyage to Australia. I have looked at Simply Gilded products for a long time, but I've never bit the bullet. And I'm glad that I now have some in my collection because they're just super cute. This is the pink with the gold bows and it's sparkly. Hello? What? That's so pretty. Can you see that? That's adorable. And then we have this really, really pretty white with gold stars. It's, it kind of looks very sprinkly, starry and sprinkly, which is very cute. I'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of this because I love these kind of neutral, but a little bit more fancy vibes in my reading journal as well. And then we have this floral that has little bows on it. Very, very cute. And then we have this very, very thin pink and gold, which has a kind of grid pattern and glitter effect to it as well. So I'm excited to see what I can use this for. It's very thin, so it'll be fun to find a use for it. So yeah, these are what I got from Archer and Olive, I'm so excited that I have some new additions to my growing collection and I am honestly so so stoked to, to be using this for my reading journal next year. I'm so excited and love the colour, it looks even better in person than I imagined and I think this is going to be a beautiful beautiful reading journal for next year. Next up were some beautiful goodies from Notebook Therapy. I have purchased from them once before, but last time I just got um, the alphabet stamps and stencils, which I do use very often in my reading journal. So I wanted to give their washi a shot because I see a lot of creatives using them and they look stunning. The thing is, there's so many designs and I simply could not choose. Um, but in the end, I settled on this Light Academia collection and also the Vintage Rose stamps. So I thought it would be really fun to incorporate these into my reading journal. They kind of complement the theme that I'm going for lately, which is pretty much the same as before, um, but a lot more neutral. So these are definitely beautiful neutral additions to my collection. These boxes are so gorgeous, I'm going to keep these for sure. Now, let's have a look. These are the Vintage Rose Bullet Journal Stamps. They're so pretty. Oh, how cute. I was really excited about these male style stamps because, you know, they really just add a nice little pop to anything. And then we have these rose ones as well. Oh, they're pink on the bottom. How cute is that? Oh, I love that. And this says, love and a red rose can't be hid. Mm, I don't know about that grandma. <laughs> that does not sound right to me. But it's cute. I will give them that. 
I'm really excited to use these, especially these two. These will be really nice for layering over other ephemera that I've got in my haul, so I'm really excited about that. Now on to the one. I think I'm most excited about these ones, the Light Academia, because, I don't know, they just really were tickling my fancy. Like, it really suit this kind of aesthetic that I have in my head at the moment. It's so cute, it's like a little drawer. Oh, dang, that's so cute. These are so precious. Look at these gorgeous little illustrations. These are going to be so lovely to layer. I love these. These are so cute and definitely, definitely hit the brief with the Light Academia vibe. Gorgeous. And then a couple more. Wow, these are gorgeous. I love these. They're like washi stickers as well, they're like paper thin, but I'm so excited to use these. And then onto the washi itself. I honestly, I forgot what the washi looked like because it's been so long. It takes a while for everything to arrive from overseas, so sometimes I forget what everything is. But this is, this is gorgeous. A little bit of like a, a newspaper typography, but it also has these gorgeous little daisies throughout and it's a kind of reddish brown color which i think is nice because it's still within the neutral family but adds a little bit of richness to spreads a little bit more depth then we have this one over here which is definitely a more grayish vibe it's like a grayish watercolor it's kind of dark for my taste but I will find somewhere to use it. It also has coffee or tea stains, which is really cute, and some handwritten words, which are sweet as well. Not my favorite color, but definitely a solid addition to the collection. And there is this one, which is honestly cute little photographs that suit the Light Academia vibe, which will be very fun to use. I love photos in this vein. I print them out and use them in my journal sometimes. I love the vintage paper feel of it, like the look of the sheet music and the books, everything. That will be really, really fun to layer as well. Now my favorites, which are the more illustrative ones. I'm a sucker for cute illustrations and this one really, really, really gets me. This one's like right up my alley because it's just like these washi stickers down here. We have a cute little hand mirror, little sparkles, a book, daisy, more books, a bust, paper, quill and glasses, more mirrors, more writing as well. I just think it's so, so cute. Let's have a look. Oh, they're, they are washi stickers. So that just peeled up one of the tiny little days of the week. Honestly, those are so tiny, I don't know how I'll use them, but the rest are lovely. See this one here, I thought that flower would be a little one you can pick up, but it's not, which is definitely interesting. But look at these, oh my god, I love, totally forgot they were washi stickers, I thought it was just a washi. But I do like that this is washi stickers. I think that's definitely much more useful. Than... Next we have, I think the clear ones. This one is the stamps, which look so cute. I can't wait to like cut out these stamps and place them in my journal. Oh my gosh, look how cute. I love this one. Little vintage paper with tea stains and a letter. Sheet music with a bow. This is just too precious. I cannot. Look how cute! Oh, I'm excited about this one. This is so fun. And then this one is a similar one. This one looks to be like little pages. Oh, they are. They're like little pages with these really soft little gold details. This little flower looks like this little washy bit sticking them in and sparkles as well. Oh, I love it. Look at that little. Dang, these are so cute. These elements, like the layering of them would be so amazing. If they were like bigger, like blown up, I would love to have those. 
as like an ephemera pack to actually stick in my journal, but like, I'm so excited that I have these mini versions as well. Everything is cuter when it's mini. Everything is made extra adorable if it's miniature. So I'm very excited about that. These are super adorable and I can't wait to use them in my journal. Next up, I placed an order with a brand that I've been eyeing for a little while and that was Paper Minty Studio. I have seen the most gorgeous, neutral, very cozy spreads on Instagram with their stickers and following them for a while and I just had to get some. First of all, it came with this like thank you card with an adorable print, like hello. I mean, so cute, I love it. Then I got some washi tapes. Again, kind of sticking to a vintage neutral theme. This one is called the Music Notes Stamp Washi, which is, as you guessed, stamps on washi. And then this one is the blush floral one, I believe. It has some very cute, I'm not sure if they're daisies or they're supposed to be chamomile flowers, but they are very, very cute. But look at this beautiful, soft floral pattern. This is like honestly just a nice staple that I really needed to have in my collection. Like a simple, kind of neutral washi. I mean, floral washi. Because a lot of floral washies are very, very loud. Um, I haven't really used a lot of floral washi in my reading journal because it kind of detracts from the theme. But this is honestly such a vibe, so cute. So simple and crisp and clean. And I'm very excited to use this. We should open this up and see what the stamps look like. It is, in fact, little perforated stamp stickers, as I thought. These are so cute, I can't wait to use these. So those are the two washies. I'm so excited to use these. And finally, the stickers. I'm so excited to support another small biz and their art. Oh my gosh. So cute. Look at these. Oh, these are probably little freebies. Oh my gosh, so cute. Look at these adorable painted flowers. They're plush pink. Exactly my vibe. These are awesome. Now, the stickers I ordered. These are adorable. So, this one's the first one I got. This is the Vintage Wildflowers sheet. This is like a clear um, matte paper, which is very cute. I'm so excited. Like I've said, I know I've said it a million times, but this is going to look so awesome layered over other ephemera. Like literally the colors are really going to pop against everything else. Oh my God. So, so cute. Beautiful. And this one, <gasps> you're joking. Summer solstice. This is stunning. I love it. I love it so much. These colors are just so calm and soothing. I am obsessed. Next, I got these stickies nude, which are self-explanatory little stickies in a nude color palette. I'm really excited about these, these perfect little size to include in spreads. Next is Cottagecore, freaking adorable. These are so cute. I love me some mushies and some strawberries. These are totally my vibe. I'm obsessed. Oh, oh my god, literally with every one I see, I'm like, this is my favorite. No, this is my favorite. Oh my god, I can't dream a little this is so cute love the beige vibes so cozy look at this ice coffee and these tickets it's so cute then we have journals self-explanatory but this vibe this is literally everything i'm going for with my journal honestly this is the vibe and these mini scissors tiny vintage looking scissors are you kidding are you kidding they're adorable so stinking cute. I'm obsessed. Here we have Tea Party. Again, freaking adorable. Love it. I love that this one has more color though. It has little pops of this deep blue and this vintagey pink, which is very, very cute. I'm excited to use everything. I literally want to stay up all night and do journal spreads, but I cannot have to be up early tomorrow. These are the watercolor branches. Cute as heck. Literally everything in this, adorable. I'm obsessed. I love them. And I'm so happy to support someone who is as talented as this. These are so pretty. And the last one, Sunday in bed. 
not so cute a lot softer a little bit more of a pastel palette right up my alley very little cozy homewares so cute oh my god i am simply obsessed how how is this my first time purchasing from paper minty studio everything is beautiful incredible show stopping i'm so excited to use all of these this is honestly one of the best purchases i've made in a long time this is this is beautiful next yes we're still going i know i have a problem but next up we have some goodies i grabbed from washi gang which is one of my favorite places to get stationery from this is honestly just an assortment of stuff that i needed wanted lusted after and first off we have this adorable free washi which is spooky like halloween themed i love that they give a free washi when you spend a certain amount i think it's 75 dollars not sure but they always have the cutest designs and it's so fun to guess which design you're gonna get with your order this one is a classic can't wait to use this in my spooky spreads then in the same vein as washi i got two washies a cute little set from moon and paper co i believe they may have changed their name i'm not too sure but look at this little bag like are you kidding me this is so stinking cute it's black with stars and moons very witchy celestial vibes i love and then the two washies are inside they are vintage slash neutral both all of the above to include in my journal this one's more of a script it says once upon a time once upon a time once upon a time very cute on like an aged paper looking background and then this one is more um page text like body copy it's very cute um well i was there some other things caught my eye obviously because i'm me and i love cute stuff so here we are i got some more stickers these are the botanical book ones which are like washi flakes look at those cute little designs i was dying because you know little mushies cute little pink flowers honestly just so fun to add a little bit a little pop of fun to spreads and i love that they have those little gold details in there as well what are these some little leaves some tags little florals roses more tags i like that they have multiple copies of the same designs as well because sometimes if there's only one of something i'm never going to use it because i'll be like i'll never have that design again i wasted it but you know we have options many options so i'm really excited to use these apart from that i also got some other clear ones these are more awashi like stickers but these clear ones are a little bit different i went for the sunset garden and these are also the sunset garden whoops i think they had a name this one was like the red and then this one's like the white set anyway they're clear pet stickers these are the designs they have on the back i might not open it because i'm already making a mess i felt like these white ones were beautiful neutral edition and then these blush ones would be a nice little fun pop of color for when i need it then we have some new tombow dual brush pens look i was debating about getting these for ages but they are neutral and i was like you know I need more neutral brush pens. I'm basically just using two at the moment. These are the two main ones that I've been using in my reading journal. I adore them. It's 942 and 850. This one, I adore these. I think one of them, I think this one is also in this collection, but I don't mind because I love that color and I use it a lot. And I just needed some different shades, different tones to round out my collection and add a little bit of depth to my spreads. So that's what I went for. Let's open them up and maybe do some swatching. Ooh, pretty. Okay, off camera, I did these quick little swatches for you of these colors. 
this one really surprised me why does it look orange <laughs> but you know i don't know these ones this is what i already have 942 which is one of my favorites 990 looks like almost exactly the same for little less saturated and then i also have the black but these are perfect i just needed some deeper tones and now i have them so those are gonna be awesome to use in my journal as well on to the last thing that i got from washi gang which was some filler paper what is the name i don't know about it anyway this is in the classic size it's a sheet that unfolds into you know a full page so this is what it looks like i thought it would be really great for a like weekly like master list of all the things i need to get done um so that i can have that in my planner and then just as the week goes by i put them into the different days kind of schedule them in so once it unfolds, you have a full lined page, which is awesome. A little spot for the date, and then like a dot grid on this side, and a little bit of a grayish, it's kind of a beige gray. So that's honestly just a perfect basic little addition to my planner system. To round out the last little bit of my haul, I have some little bits of ephemera that I purchased from small shops on Etsy, which were based here in Australia. I love buying ephemera, especially vintage paper packs. I made another purchase of vintage paper packs a little while back before any of these. Loved it and I've been using those in my reading journal and I decided I wanted a couple more additions to my collection. These were from a store called Crafty Bee Treasures and then these were from three girls and a goat i believe so i'll go ahead and open these first this was very cute because they had some freebies this blue and white twine and then these really cute embossed stickers um and then it came with this tiny little card and envelope and the envelope is also pressed and i think this would be really cute to add into my journal somehow with a little pop out bit we'll see it's one of my favorite things about purchasing from small shops is that they include the cutest little freebies. So we got a paper doily here. I mainly wanted more paper doilies because I forgot about them for a little while. I used to use them a bit in high school in some of my art and I forgot they existed. I have some in my cupboard but they're all just the one size, one design and I wanted some variations to add fun texture into my journal. So these were what I went with. This was just part of the wrapping. But we have what I got. So I wanted to get some that were craft paper colored so that they would add a nice little different bit of depth and dimension. These are a little lighter than I imagined, but very cute nonetheless, and they will be a perfect addition. And then I also chose this tiny little pack of cards and envelopes because I thought like that one but they would make really 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 cute additions to my journal like little pull outs like I kind of thought that I should get enough for each month of the year and then on my title page I could include one of these somehow like look how cute this is you just pull out a little card and then you open it up like this would be so cute if I could I don't know maybe incorporate what I read or something onto this and then keep it in the cover page for each month maybe so yeah those are what I got from three girls and a coat um and then these were from crafty bee treasures these were freebies I believe with some other cute little papers they feel kind of like wallpaper oh my god they definitely feel like wallpaper the texture is interesting this looks like very nice I forgot the word for that design. I had it in my brain. That sounds interesting. It's like a pirate ship or a ship. The feeling is very, very different. It's very fun. Those will be great. Some of these aren't really the colors I would go for, but they're beautiful nonetheless. I'm happy to have those in my collection. And then these are the assorted, assorted? Assorted, assorted. Um, paper doilies that I purchased. 
I liked that they had a mix of different styles in one pack because I wasn't just looking for a pack that has all the same. I think these are like the ones that I have in my cupboard at the moment. I think the ones I have are slightly bigger, but these, this is definitely the design of those, which I love, but I wanted some variation. Same, these are different. These ones, very, very cute. And then we have these ones, which have like a little bit of a different edge to them. I really like these, these are cute. So yeah, these are the paper doilies that I chose and purchased from Crafty Bee Treasures. Um, and then I purchased a pack of paper, various assorted book pages. This one on the back looks interesting. Definitely don't have anything like that in my collection. I'm not sure if it's my favorite, but I love purchasing packs of like assorted vintage book pages because there's just some really fascinating stuff in there. Like they're just from books all different kinds of books that you don't know, like different languages, different topics, lots of things you've probably never heard of before. And it's really just interesting to read little bits of them. Here we have some comics. What comic is this? Interesting. I also love the poems that you get lots of pages of poems and prose especially when they're in different languages they just look so beautiful it's a very interesting addition to the collection i really like when they have annotations as well it's so cute lots and lots of different sizes and shapes and colors and those are all different pages that i got very cute just what i needed to bulk up my collection of vintage paper. Okay, so in my more recent purchases from Washi Gang, I only got a couple of things. I mainly placed the order because I was getting a couple of things as gifts, but I had to get myself a little something as well. I couldn't resist. So these are what I ended up getting. I got this set of the Zebra Click Art pens. These are the pastel colors, I believe. It doesn't really say it in English, but I do already have the other set of these pens. I really like them. They're very cute. And I thought these were much more up my alley because they are very cute pastel tones. Much more muted. The other ones I have are quite loud. Definitely not my vibe for my planner, but I'll use them in other notebooks and stuff like that. But these, I feel like these colors are much more my style and will definitely get more use in my planner this year so i'm really excited about these then i got some stickers because i'm a sticker gal i've been pretty good at not buying too many sticker books these i got for my reading journal these are from i think these are from m wave yeah mind wave and these are just some cute wax seal style stickers let me have a closer look it's come in a selection of different colors, but these were obviously the ones that I felt would suit my reading journal the most because they're neutral and they're just gorgeous, so soft and dainty. I just think these will look so good in my journal for this year. So those were a no-brainer. Very cute. I can't wait to use those. And then I just got one Happy Planner sticker book because it is by the Paper Raven Co. I love their designs. I've been a fan of theirs for a while. And so when I saw that they collabed with the Happy Planner, I knew I just had to get some of this gorgeousness in my life. It's definitely one of the more decorative ones, but that's my favorite. I love the stick books that have a lot more decorative, big blooms. Um, and then obviously some complimentary boxes and things, but these are just so pretty. I love the colors. I love their illustrations. I'm a big fan of their illustration style. And I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this in 2023. It's honestly one of my favorites already. I haven't used it yet, which is honestly shocking, but the end of like, the end of the year, December, November, has been really hectic for me. I haven't touched my planner a whole lot. So I'm really excited to get back into it and to use this because these are really inspiring me. 
these are going to be so awesome for my cute summer spreads now onto the one of the i would say the main event probably the biggest baddest part of my haul is my planners for next year so i originally purchased a classic happy planner that i thought i was going to use was one of the work-life balance ones pretty minimalist i just want minimalist insides that's it not much color just black and white simple because i like my spreads to be the color you know and i don't like when it clashes with the pages themselves so that's what i purchased but then of course tiffy at villa beautiful blew it out of the water again with her gorgeous designs for 2023 vb planners and i had to get myself a couple now these are undated planners but they come with little sticker books so you can date them yourself and i just thought that was genius she was kind enough to gift me one of her vb planners from last year when we collaborated together on the in bloom kit and i was actually saving that to use for this year so i can redate it now that i have these sticker books and i'm excited there were so many beautiful options i couldn't choose just one um so i ended up with two but the beauty is they are undated so i can use one for next year so let's get into it so the two that i ended up selecting for myself my two favorites even though they were all gorgeous were the white floral one i believe it's called if not i will put the correct name up on the screen and then the desk view planner like come on these are just the most gorgeous covers planner covers I have seen i've been looking for something like this searching high and low for something like these and they just weren't on the market but you know now they are and these are to die for so these are clear illustrated covers and then these pockets go behind so you will see the color behind this desk view one has a purple ombre which is very cute and then it comes with these discs that kind of have this marble look to them with the same kind of purple ombre colors, which I thought was so cute. I'm not a huge purple gal anymore. I used to be when I was a teenager, so I'll probably tweak this a bit. I might put a different color, but we'll see. I just simply adored the color. I mean, rose gold, that's my favorite, if you know me. When it comes to hardware, on my actual planners, on my actual pens, I like rose gold. So I was absolutely gobsmacked when I saw these. These illustrations are just so gorgeous. I love line illustrations. So rose gold had my heart immediately. Now these come as separate um, pieces so you can build the planner yourself. They don't come pre-assembled, but I like that because you can customize it to your own taste. The cover came with these dividers, which are so pretty they're simply just so gorgeous like look at that script a gorgeous handwritten looking script i mean they're just so pretty but these will look a little bit cloudy because they haven't been peeled you have to peel um a film off them but they are completely clear once you peel off the film so this is just a closer look at the text it's just so beautiful like the best basic script font stunning i mean i don't like to use a lot of black on my desk you won't see a lot of black um but these are just so pretty so and it's fairly minimal okay then we have the actual insides of the planner i haven't opened it up yet but i do know what it looks like because i do have the one from 2022 but i'll open it up to give you guys a look the guts, the inside is the same for every version of cover or whatever you get. And it's just so simple and minimal and gorgeous. It's just chic. Just everything you need without being too much. And like I said, it is, it is undated, which I know some people don't like, but I honestly, I am leaning towards undated more and more these days. Here is the inside, the pages. Here we have the main page. It is a discbound planner, so it's pre-punched, which is perfect for me. So here we have the goals page. It has 12, so you can use it for monthly goals as well, which I really like, or just 12 overall. It's nice to have different categories as well. And then you have a monthly overview page. 
So basically you can use this space for anything. Vision board, mind mapping, memories, goals, to do overview. So I really like that. I have no idea which one I'm gonna use it for yet, but I like that there's a lot of space for that. And then down here, you have the space for important dates and things like that. And it has dot grid as well. Then we go into the monthly section. As you can see, it's very basic, very bare bones, but that's where the sticker book comes in. They come in white and also clear. I got clear for my undated ones for my new ones, but I also got a white version to redate the 2022 planner that I have. So this is a look at all the stickers that you get in the pack. Obviously, there's enough for every single month, which is perfect. So this one, as you can see, is for January. So you have the month header, you have all the dates, you have the days of the week to go in the monthly as well. There's some holidays which you can put in, but I like that you can choose, pick and choose the holidays that you put in because obviously being Australian, we don't celebrate most of the holidays that tend to be in American based planners. Even my happy planners, I have to use a white jelly roll pen usually to remove all the American holidays but I like that with this. They have the relevant holidays and you can choose if you want to include them. And they have two, which is great. And then you have your basic everyday icons in a very minimal line illustration, which is just perfect. And that is the same for every month. This is honestly just a perfect item for redating any planner, I think. I'm sure you could use this for any other brand of planner that you're wanting to redate or even if you just want to date your bullet journal or something like that, this would easily save you time. So yeah, that's for the monthly view and then here is what the weekly view looks like. It's pretty similar to a vertical happy planner I would say, but it is different. Obviously it has lines. I'm not a huge lined girl, but they're very faint, so I don't mind. And I like that they have big sections down the bottom for you to write whatever in. And they also have a side column for goals and stuff like that, which is my favorite. So as you can see, the pages are really minimal. It's like bare bones, the basics, everything you need, everything I need personally. I know a lot of people like more prompts and things like that in their planner, but I'm definitely not that type. So this is perfect for me. So that's pretty much what the weekly looks like. And then obviously we get the set amount of those. And then we get to the next section which is the next monthly, you get a nice dot grade page on this side, which I love. And then you move on to the monthly overview for the next month. And then back to the monthly view. I'm not sure if there's any extra pages at the end. Let's have a look. I think there is some dot grid pages. So it looks like there's about seven dot grid pages, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, seven pages at the end of just plain dot grid, which is great. Honestly, dream situation for me because at the end of my planner, I tend to put in other daily pages and other kinds of inserts that I like. So yeah, this is the bones of the planner. For the white floral one, this is the cover. It's so pretty, simply stunning. This one's definitely more of a dusty rose which I obviously love pink, but it's a bit dark for me. So I may end up switching the cover out to something else, but this is how gorgeous the floral is. Like, hello? You peel this, I can see there's a film there. So this will be see-through and then you'll be able to see the pink. I don't want to peel them just yet. I want to save that for when I'm actually officially setting everything up. But for the white one, it comes with the same dashboard, but in white, which is, mm, yes, my favorite. Absolutely my vibe. Like, hello, gorgeous. I love white text. It's absolutely my favorite. And then obviously the guts are exactly the same. So yeah, this is what the rose gold one looks like. I would take it out, but obviously I'm not going to peel it right now because I'm, I haven't decided which planner I'm going to use yet. So I will insert a photo of what it looks like on the screen. And then for the white planner, 
the white floral one. The discs are this kind of pearlescent. I don't know if I would say pearlescent. Kind of marbly white color. I don't know how to describe it. It's white, but not plain white. It has a tiny bit of a marbly, pearly. Actually, no, I'm like a shell. It gives me shell vibes. I don't know what they describe it as on the side, but I'm sure they have a better description. So yeah, that's what the discs for this one look like. Obviously very minimal and chic, and they suit the white vibe of the planner. I think this would also look very pretty with rose gold discs, which are what I tend to use. So I might end up pairing it with the rose gold discs, but I also saw they have some really, really cute pink marble ones, like light pink marble ones that came with the gold bow planner or pink bow planner. Um, so I'm contemplating getting those because they're just so pretty. We'll see. And then for the purple desk view planner, these are the discs here. Like I said, they're kind of like an ombre, marbly effect. These ones are fun. Just definitely a bit dark for my vibe. But who knows, I might end up using these. So to go with whatever planner I end up choosing, I am going to obviously use my Nautique cover, which is still after... I don't know how many months I've had it now, but it is still my pride and joy. It is my absolute favorite. This is my Nautique cover, which is a blush Saffiano leather with rose gold hardware. And I'm just dreaming about the combo of this floral cover or even this rose gold cover with it. I mean, that is just a match made in heaven. Um, it's gonna look absolutely stunning and I'm really excited to get to putting it together. Also, to go with my planner, I got some extra fill paper um, to add to my collection. I currently have some other fill paper from the Happy Planner that I typically put at the end of my planner. So I also have these project pages here um, that I often use for assessments for uni. And then I have these, these weekly ones, which are my favorite. These are pink and rose gold so me <laughs> um i like using these sometimes just when i'm brainstorming out the week before i just do my actual spread these are pretty handy so i can see all the tasks that need to be done and then i also have my favorite dailies so these are the ones i typically put in the back section of my planner and to add to that little collection i also decided to get some extra note paper i know that the vb planner does have that seven pages of dot grid which i love absolutely adore that's my favorite but i also take a lot of notes so i needed something extra and i got these fill papers from the happy planners work and life range these are very minimal they just have lined pages with a pink header and some gold foil text that says notes and then they are the same on both sides which is great so this comes with about 60 sheets and these are just going to be perfect for the back of my planner for jotting down notes whenever so yeah i'm really excited to put it all together and create my 2023 planner so that is pretty much everything or is everything from this giant haul of planner and journaling supplies i honestly i was in such a slump lately creatively and i'm feeling so inspired to create again i am so excited to have so many beautiful new additions to help me create some beautiful spreads with the help of you know other amazing creators and crafters and i am so so excited to get into creating more spreads especially in my reading journal but i will be posting another reading journal very soon for you guys so i hope you stick around let me know if you enjoyed this video seeing all of this stuff i'm not going to be doing another one of these for a while because this was a lot <laughs> but yeah let me know if you liked it if anything caught your eye i will try to link or at least list down everything and all the sellers below for you guys to find easily as well so give this video a like if you liked it and leave me a comment be sure to follow me on instagram as well if you want to see more of my planner and journal content on a daily basis and i will see you guys soon bye